Your voice sounds different. Yes, it's because I got a new microphone. I was listening to an NPR podcast and they said one of the worst things you can do as a presidential candidate is eat a corn dog at a county fair because the paparazzi will be there and they will take like 500 pictures of you eating a corn dog. And let's just say, let's just say there's no dignified way <laughs> to eat a corn dog. I don't think I've ever done Wham Bam Island on this stream and the Halloween one too. I don't think I've ever done the Halloween one either. So today, we're gonna go do the headhunter packs because you know why not? Let's switch it up. Let's just let's just go, let's just go crazy with it. Hey, you know what? In the spirit of doing things differently, hey, stop, stop the background music, cut it out, and uh, instead of the crappy EDM music I always play, play. Um, let's see, Island Pair. Hey, play, yeah, play Delfino Plaza. There we go. The video games have taught me anything. It's that the light-colored water you can walk in, but when the water turns dark blue. You die immediately. Watch this. Ready? Look at this. Oh, wow. Some nice crystal blue water. And then the second. The instant. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. Are you still padding for time for the Bionicles to arrive? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would make you think that? I'm not, I'm not padding for time for the Bionicles. I just I just felt like playing the Headhunter. I never play. <laughs> padding for time. As if. Oh, no. I'm running slow now. Oh, drat. This... This goes against my plan to finish the game in a timely manner. Ah, darn. All right, guys. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the best fast food. But I finally had the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And it's way better. It's so much better. Oh, my God. It's so much better. It's like 50% better. It's really good. That is a really, really good sandwich. You gotta try the Popeye's sandwich, man. The regular and the spicy. Both of them. Oh, oh man. Delicious. Like Chick-fil-A fries better chick-fil-a soda <laughs> yeah sure chick-fil-a soda better chick-fil-a milkshakes oh man the milkshakes are on point the chick-fil-a number eight wrap combo that wrap is delicious it's like 10 bucks but it's delicious but i just gotta say it like it is you know it's the harsh truth i didn't want to believe it either i'm like uh i'm like the critic in ratatouille where he gets the ratatouille and he's like oh yes surely this ratatouille would be terrible and he takes one bite and he goes he gets transported back to his childhood and falls in love and he ruins his entire career because of how good the ratatouille is that's me that's me biting the popeye's chicken sandwich and being like okay yeah this is way better first time i catch you live i really want to say it i really want to say it guys can i say it can i have permission to say it i'm gonna do it catch me outside how about that <laughs> whenever slippery guns comes up it's like slippery funds you know like the the fun I'm having just kind of falls right out of my hands. Why do you think Maxilos and Spinax is the best set? Gadunka is a more unique set by far. Yeah, Gadunka is more unique. But Maxilos and Spinax comes with more useful pieces. Like Gadunka, Gadunka is basically a specialized head mold and then a really crappy body. Let's not kid ourselves. This body build, not the greatest. Unique, but good? Eh, debatable. Kind of gappy. Maxilos and Spinax, though? I mean, perfection. Look at that guy. What's your favorite BL2 DLC? It's gotta be Tindy Snowflake. Whenever you arrive in the arid nexus and you're like, oh crap, I'm two levels under. Tinder Snowflake, he's always there. He's always there for you. I didn't notice you dropped your Hellfire. Yep, I dropped my Hellfire, cool. Now we gotta go find it, I guess. Hey, look at it this way. We're literally on a beach looking for lost treasure in the sand. There we go, see? See, it's fun, kids, see? Make a game out of it, yeah. It could be anywhere on this beach. This is gonna take a while to search. Yeah, I don't see the Hellfire anywhere. I think we lost it for good. Great. Awesome. If only you had some kind of skill to help you kill the enemies instead of a hellfire, some kind of buff. That'd be really good. If only I had 34 of those. Oh, wow. That's a big boy. Look at that tail, baby. We've got him on the ropes. Come on, conference call. Yeah, there we go. Bro, have you heard the Hammerlock is getting married? Wow, I didn't know that. Really? No way. That's crazy. The only thing that can make that better is Cthulhu being involved somehow. But I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty unlikely. Okay, next on the menu is farming for a new hellfire. That wasn't part of the plan, but you know when life gives you lemons, you gotta do the entire Flame of the Firehawk quest line. This is between the blood shots and the fire. Yeah, Whoa, hang on. Flank Steak was talking and he said, this is between the blood shots and the firehawk. And the instant he said fire, the donation went fire. That was perfectly timed. Blood shots and the fire. Who needs a hellfire when you have the last key? No, stop. Let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Let me get out of the way. Move. Move. Okay, he's out of the way. Hang on. The last key. P 
pick it up. Is my inventory full? Is that the problem? It is. Okay. Uh, Emperor. Oh, Emperor. You're out of here. <laughs> you're out of here, Emperor. The last key is a better Emperor. All right. Again. Let's try again. Ready? No friction. No friction. Come on. There we go. The last key. Ooh, Goliath Lagoon. Crap. Goliath Lagoon. You really showed me who's boss. But guess what? I'm going to show him just how much he has to lose. We've got the most powerful SMG in the world to do it. Lasco, kill the loot goon. Aren't those brute? What? Those guys are supposed to get killed by Lilith. Oh, they instantly respawned after the cutscene. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, these guys are both invincible. So that's... Okay, that's not possible. All right, can I kill them now? Oh, crap. I still can't kill them. Oh, no. Do they have to die in the cutscene or else they can't die at all? Is that what it is? Oh, come on. I gotta do this whole zone again. Hey, this is the perfect time for a Talk to Lilith musical moment. Now, are they dead? Okay, they're dead. Good. Third person jump. Here we go. Come on, Lilith. Come on. Ugh, too early again. Larry Lee. Savage Lee probably orchestrated Corporal Reese's death. Because they're in the marrow fields. The marrow fields is Savage Lee's domain. It's probably his fault, so I'm, I'm really just avenging Reese. Several hundred times. What's your favorite Rahi Beast and why is it the Nui Jaga? See, I never had any of those. But if I was gonna buy one right now, it'd be Nui Jaga. Nui Jaga is the coolest looking one. All right, Tannis, where are you hiding that E? I know you got it somewhere. Ah, white grenade mod. Oh, whoa. Whoa, two Tannis E's? Wow. Wow. That's lucky. Fire! For Nui Jaga. All right. Okay. For Nui Jaga. You heard the man. Nui Jaga, no box, no instructions, complete with all extra parts. There we go, perfect. A sealed Nui Jaga is 80, 80? Okay, yep, we're getting the used one. Hey, <laughs> used it is. What other Bionicles does this guy have? Let's see, let's sort by price. What's his, what's his cheapest Bionicle? He's got Parak Va for 280? Dude, that's a steal. <laughs> Current state of Americans, ironic consumption. It's not ironic. I, sa I said earlier, I said, if I was gonna get a Rahi, I would want Nui Jaga. I've never had a Rahi before, and now finally, I will have Nui Jaga and also Pyrock Va, which I don't really want, but it's, a, it's such a good deal, it'd be stupid not to buy it. I'm running out of space to put all these Bionicles, man. Because my existing Bionicle collection was not small. It was a lot of them. And now, <laughs> it's like, it's grown substantially since I started streaming. That's a very first world problem. I don't have enough space for all these Bionicles I have. <laughs> Imagine unironically complaining about that. Oh, man. That's the way I am with D&D &D minis? Yeah, man. Don't even be all, oh, dude. I've considered getting into D&D &D minis, but every time I gotta I gotta be like, nope, I can't do that. I can't do that because the Beholder, like $40. And if I buy one Beholder, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want every Beholder ever made, and I know I'm gonna buy them, so I haven't, I haven't gotten started on D&D &D minis. I've held off on that. All right, baby. Time to go farm Scorch for that brand spanking new Hellfire. Oh, Instant Respawns is on. I didn't even notice. With 13 votes. Wow. <laughs> 13 people. There's not a whole lot of voter turnout. The whole point of this series is that you guys can inter interact with the stream in a fun way and vote, you know, but <laughs> nobody even votes. All right, Instant Respawns is gone, so we better get it on right here, right now. We didn't get it with the Instant respawn, so it's time to be in the long farm. The picture of Bugs Bunny where it's like, Lord, forgive me, but I gotta go back to the old me. It's like a, it's like a horribly compressed JPEG of Bugs Bunny. And he's holding a pistol. It's a great picture. Remember when Bugs Bunny was relevant? Now he's just like a Six Flags mascot. He used to have cartoons all over the world, but these days, Looney Tunes, what's that? More like Nickelodeon, am I right? More like SpongeBob. <laughs> you only farm scotch, yeah. All I do is farm scotch and Larry Lee, come on. Where's the good content? So boring. If you ask an American where they're from, they give you the state. <laughs> they're not gonna be like, oh, I'm from, I'm from the USA. It's like, no, that's stupid, come on. Lame. When you're, when you're, when you're in American school, they're like, all right, Here's a map of the world, you know, got Europe over there, China. I mean, I guess it's kind of important, but hey, guess what? You better learn your 50 states, baby. All right, let's, let's list them off. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia. If you're schooled in America, you will know the states. You will know their abbreviations. You will know their location on the map, which I forgot by now. Skipped Iowa. Oh, I skipped Iowa. <laughs> hey, call me Mike Bloomberg. Oh, man, that's a good joke. Okay. I gotta, I gotta give myself some applause for that one. That's good. That is a good joke. You can't even deny it. While his competitors barnstorm Iowa, billionaire candidate Michael Bloomberg is sitting out the caucuses entirely. My grandfather was RAF as a radar operator. That's awesome. Talk about some OGs. The RAF in World War II. Hitler's like, hey man, 
for like 10 years. I'm just gonna freaking bomb your country. And the RAF's like, brain on, idiot. And Hitler's like, wait, what? I, you're, you're supposed to surrender after that. And like, yeah, so? I'm not gonna freaking surrender. I'm gonna bomb your city. <laughs> I'm gonna bomb our city. I don't even like that city. That city sucks. We don't even like that one. One of my great first or second cousins. It's very distant. Like, who even knows? Like, I don't, I don't know the exact relation. I just know I'm kind of related to him. He worked on the atomic bombs. The story I was told, I don't know if it's true, but I was told that he got like, the army was like, hey man, guess what? And he was like, oh crap, I gotta, did I just get drafted? No, 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 man, you're not drafted, but here's what you gotta do. You gotta come down to this facility every day for the next like five years and watch this like dashboard. And if these dials ever go in the red, you better tell me. You better tell someone these dials go in the red. And he was like, uh, okay. And he just did that for a while. Had had no idea what he was working on. And then uh, they're like, all right, you're done. He's like, okay. He went home like a month later, a nuclear bomb fell on a Japanese city. And he was like, Oh, oh, now I get it. And then like 10 years later, like, hey, so, um, you have super cancer? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> then he died, the end. I said it once and I'll say it again. I am thoroughly impressed that there are skins I do not have yet in this game. Borderlands 2 offers a wealth of content that will keep you playing for years to come. Borderlands 2 hasn't changed much from its predecessor, it builds on an already solid foundation for an even better looting shooting experience. The game is divided into quests. You accept quests from a quest giver, go kill various monsters and bandits, come back, get your XP, and get the all-important loot. Landscapes are more varied than the dusty old deserts of the previous games, and along with several new enemies like the vicious spider ants and the vicious <laughs> spider ants, the game sure does have a lot of enemy variety. The new antagonist, Handsome Jack, is one of the best antagonists that we've seen in the game. He's funny, but also you hate him. You really want to kill him while still wanting to see the next line he has to say. He's a triumph of writing, unlike most of the side quests. Well, we finally got the Hellfire. Was it worth it? Probably not, but guess what? I don't care. That was a boring stream. We accomplished pretty much nothing. So tune in tomorrow when we accomplish even less.